So here's the deal. SUVs are practical, lots of ground clearance, very spacious, but there's one thing that they're not and that's fun. You can get an SUV that is fun, which is maybe an Urus, a DBX, a Bentega, but when like who can really afford those lucky for you and me there is a car company out to achieve this weird combo and that's bmw with its x3 they claim for it to be a sports activity vehicle and not a sports utility vehicle so i'm here to find out how sporty it actually is simply put yes the x3 is a fun car to chuck around the electromechanical steering rack does wonders whether you are pondering around town or chucking it through a b road uh, the suspension is pretty pretty solid too whenever you're chucking it around town you you stay pretty solid everywhere and in its sportier suspension i can feel the road through my fingertips and my bum more on that later under the hood it's the same 2 liter 4 pot that we are all familiar with from bmw pushing out around 255 bhp and 350 newton meters now but now its state of tune is in such a way that all that torque is delivered a little earlier in the rev band surprisingly this car with a full load is around 2 tons with like a full load of passengers and uh, your uh, trunk full otherwise it's around 1.7 tons this is quite heavy and considering that it only has 255 horses and 350 newton meters of torque you'd expect the car to feel luggy but it is not at all it feels like the car doesn't need any more power which is kind of weird coming from the driver's hub but yeah it feels like it's a normal car and it doesn't need more power and that is high praise from a 2 liter engine with 2 tons to deal with Pair the 2-liter turbo engine to a rapid 8-speed torque converter gearbox and BMW's X-Drive all-wheel drive system. This 2-ton SUV can hurl itself from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 6.3 seconds. Funnily enough, since this is the M Sport variant, this family SUV comes equipped with launch control, which is a cool little party trick to have to show off in front of the boys. Apart from that, the X3 gets the regular gizmos and toys to play around with. driving modes like eco pro comfort sport it gets cruise control auto hill hold paddle shifters for that extra control over the gearbox a pretty classic package from bmw everything you want nothing more than you need coming back to my bum it's in a little bit of pain you see even in its most comfortable setting uh the x3 is rather stiff it's not super stiff that my bum my bum is bruised but i mean a small price to pay for the way this thing handles and let me tell you this thing handles amazing the m sport package gives the bmw x3 a sportier orientation the specific front apron features significantly larger air inlets and inserts finished in high gloss black as well as more pronounced air curtains Also, the M high gloss shadow line package enhances the window graphics, roof rails, finishes in B and C pillar and exterior mirror base and frame in high gloss. Come to the rear and you can see that the X3 looks super aggressive from the back. These really nice tail lights have a 3D effect to them so it makes them look super nice even at night. You've got a fake diffuser, fake vents and all of this uh aggressive treatment comes from the M Sport kit. Uh you've got really nice fat exhaust so that people know that you're driving a sports activity vehicle open the boot and you are greeted with 550 liters of space that is quite a lot and if that's not enough you can uh put the seats down and get 1500 liters of space that's enough for i don't know your years grocery shopping the interior is business as usual It has no major updates as such from the pre-facelift car only that the infotainment system has gotten bigger crisper and can now support wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The interior itself looks absolutely amazing in this tan brown color. The front seats are also super comfortable and have loads of adjustment and grip you into place in the corners. The steering has its usual functionality as we know. The left hand side controls your cruise control, calls and voice control. The right controls your instrument cluster and volume. The instrument cluster has also gotten the latest BMW UI compared to the previous gen model with the anti-clockwise tachometer. Overall, the front cabin is what you expect from the latest gen of BMWs. 
functional, full of tech and very well built. Step inside and it is classic Beamer. The rear though has quite a little to play with. You have a three zone climate control so that means the rear only gets one setter but you get two blowers and trust me this thing blows harder than your girlfriend on a Sunday night. When it comes to the seats, the seats feel super comfortable, the place is quite airy. However, I have a little bit of a niggle with the thigh support. The thigh support is a little too short for my liking and the rake of the seats is rather upright. So longer tours might be a little difficult but otherwise it is super airy, you get a panoramic sunroof so there's no claustrophobia at all and it is a beautiful place to be with at least for the time being. Now if you ask me personally, I wouldn't buy an SUV as a daily, it's wasteful rather inconvenient in urban environments and in the city, a sedan does the exact same job. But this SAV is different. All the pros of the SUV format, a few cons from the sports format, but overall a beautiful urban stormer. That's all for today folks, do let us know what are your thoughts on the X3 and if you had to choose an SUV only for daily city runs, what would your choice be? Thank you so much for watching, this is your boy Bhavneet, see you in the next one.